it's pretty common knowledge that exercise is good for longevity and it can help to slow down aging. But there have been a few recent studies that show how the timing of when you exercise can have a profound impact on your risk of mortality and some times of the day are better than others. So in this video, I want to talk about this new study that looked at when is the best time to exercise for the greatest reduction in all-cause mortality risk. Do it. So this study, Associations of Timing of Physical Activity with All-Cause and Cause-Specific Mortality in a Prospective Co- study and they gathered data from 92,000 UK biobank participants with a seven year of uh, median follow-up. What they found was that the moderate to vigorous intensity physical activity at any time of the day is associated with lower risks for all cause cardiovascular disease and cancer mortality. So that's good. So it doesn't matter when you exercise, it uh, all will have a positive effect on your health and uh, reduces the risk of mortality because yeah, like just physical exercise is just so important in uh, doing that. But Compared with the morning group, more than 50% of daily, this moderate physical intense activity during 5 a.m. to 11 a.m., uh, midday afternoon, 11 to 7 p.m., and mixed timing groups, but not the evening group, 5 p.m. to midnight, had lower risk of all cause and cardiovascular disease mortality. So uh, basically, basically found that all of these groups, you know, had positive effects on reducing mortality risk, but the group that exercised in the evening and later, so like 5 p.m. until midnight, had, you know, they didn't have as big of an effect and as big of a reduction in all-cause mortality risk compared to exercising like either early morning or midday afternoon at 11 to 5 p.m. And this is actually uh, similar to one another previous study from last year, November 2022, where they also found that uh, daytime and early phase activity, you know, exercising around a.m. part and maybe in the afternoon, etc., had a greater reduction in mortality risk, but exercising in the middle of the night didn't. So, uh, you know, because the you know, exercise in the middle of the night is very like unnatural for the human body. It's uh, disrupting the human circadian rhythms and is also probably linked to some other, you know, circadian rhythm mismatch related conditions, which uh, are carcinogenic and can promote the risk of heart disease and cancer just because of the circadian rhythm mismatch, not because of the exercise at you know the wrong time. So what it does mean is that exercising in the earlier part of the day, either in the morning or at the afternoon, somewhere around there, not in the evening, is the best in terms of reducing the risk of all-cause mortality. But at the same, like the study already claimed, you know, exercising at any time of the day is still uh, associated with a reduction in all-cause mortality and heart disease mortality and cancer mortality, just because exercise, you know, still is one of the most powerful, you know, things for your health and longevity. And it doesn't even matter if you do it later in the day, just getting the exercise in is uh, obviously better than nothing and not exercising at all. However, from a hierarchy of things, then yeah, exercising in the earlier part of the day and in the afternoon, is uh, superior to exercising later in the day. And we can actually add another new study from February 2023, the Association of Physical Activity Behaviors and Patterns with Aging Acceleration. And uh, basically among 284,000 UK biobank participants, so pretty much a similar, similar cohort of people, they found that uh, these different kinds of um, physical activity during the daytime, which includes things like adherence to activity patterns like strenuous sports, other exercises, walking for uh, pleasure, heavy and light housework, and public transportation use was associated with a lower risk of aging acceleration, whereas a higher level of adherence to patterns predominated by job-related activities, so like sedentary activities, uh, sitting and office job, was associated with a higher risk of aging acceleration. So any kind of movement during the daytime, that's already going to have some positive effects on slowing down the aging process, whereas being predominantly sedentary, and you know sitting a lot not moving around even like using public transport uh, walking and just housework as well house chores cleaning the house all of those have like a linear uh, those specific effect in terms of reducing the speed of aging and uh, promoting longevity and reducing all cause mortality and regular physical activity and exercise has a major effect on life expectancy all cause mortality is decreased by about 30 to 35 percent in physically active as compared to inactive subjects and uh, that can add up to 6.9 years to your life so just exercising regularly can add up to seven years even probably more 
to someone's uh, life expectancy. So what these studies show is that, yes, any kind of physical activity, any kind of exercise almost has like a dose-specific uh, linear response to reducing all-cause mortality and promoting longevity. So just you need to walk more, you need to do more physical activity around the house, you just need to be more active in general and uh, move your body throughout the day uh, more often. Long periods of sitting, being sedentary, stuck in an office or sitting uh, in a car or something like that for many hours is uh, quite harmful for longevity and the more you're exposed to sedentary behavior then the greater risk of mortality you appear to have and the faster you apparently age as well. If you do want to slow down aging then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. But other than that thanks for watching this video make sure to click the like subscribe notification bell as well my name is Team, stay optimized, stay empowered.